Alright, well, my name is Jeff Pickett and welcome to another episode of Life Isn't Over. This is episode 15. Uh, today's episode, just to get right to it, we're going to talk about the importance of a training partner. Now, having a, a partner that you run with is not uh, crucial by any means. It's really a matter of personal choice. Uh, but what I find that really works nicely for my long runs is to kind of help fight off the boredom and such, is to have someone uh, with you who maybe runs the same pace, or actually, in, in my case, I think it's great to run with someone who definitely runs at a better pace than I. So a few weeks ago, I met a friend off of Twitter, and I blogged about uh, this individual. His name is Jeff. His uh, Twitter symbol is at uh, JT00CT. And uh, anyway, we decided to go on a long run a few weeks ago, a 10-mile run, and it was kind of fun. Uh, one of the things I found out as I talked with him during the run is that I cannot sustain talking too much while I run. I'm just not that good, but he is. So he kind of forced me probably to, to talk or respond, maybe more than I wanted to, um, but it, uh, it, it helped me kind of mentally uh, have some fun with talking and then I could switch back and get into my zone, if you will. But it was a good, it was a good run. So yesterday, um, I had a 12 mile run schedule, Jeff had a 10 mile run schedule, and he decided to go ahead and do a 12 miler with me. And I would have to admit it was probably one of the best runs that I've had since this uh, whole training process has begun for me for this marathon. Um, we started off, I think, about a 9.15 pace on the first mile. Now me, uh, you know, my goal is to run a sub four hour marathon, and so it was a good pace. Uh, for a race, but for, for a long run, I thought, crap, we're going out too fast and I'm going to really die on the backside. Um, we did go through some hills, and so our pace did come down about 922 or maybe even as low as 930 at one point. But we ended up having a negative split, meaning we ran faster on the, on the last six than the first six. We actually did a little sprint on the last quarter mile. And uh, ended up with a time, I believe the average was in the 920 range, if not right on. And uh, the run felt good. Um, I didn't have to drink as much of my uh, Powerade that I brought as I thought I would. Uh, I was able to take my goo packs at the four mile marks, which kept my energy level up. The weather was great because it was overcast. Uh, it was cool. Uh, just a little bit of rain, but nothing much. And we were able to talk uh, back and forth. At the same time, though, I kind of had a little mantra. I've been on this Zen kick, and I would just repeat uh, right here, right now, over and over, so that I wouldn't think about how far we actually had to go. And the other fun thing that we did, uh, I talked about variety recently, is we started off on the north side of Sioux Falls, up by what they call the arena, and we went through the downtown area, got onto the Falls um, Park Trail, and then we had about uh, seven miles, five, six, uh, maybe a little bit more miles to go until we got onto the south side by Sertoma Park. And uh, I was just smiling. I was, uh, you know, you go through the usual pains, but I was smiling because it was a great run. And, and, you know, don't always measure your runs by how fast your pace is, but how well you felt afterwards. And, and my recovery time from the run was just awesome. So... That's, uh, that's a little bit uh, to be said about uh, training partners. And if you go to, I, I don't know the name off the top of my head, I apologize, I, another name just came to mind. But another Twitter person that I follow is Marathon Maritza, who just recently finished the uh, San Diego Marathon and had a, a, a personal best that was, uh, I think it was three minutes better this time around than last. And I know some of the credit was uh, given towards some of her friends, and one in particular who just really pushed her. So I think it's important to have some support, and it's great to have someone that you can run with. So that being said, training partners are great. Now, here's another thing that's really great to have, and I'm not endorsed by them, but if you're watching, I'd love for you to endorse me. That'd be great. Is the old body glide. Uh, I've talked about uh, chafed nipples and chafed other areas before. Uh, in fact, if you've seen the movie Run, Fat Boy, Run, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you've not, you have to go rent it. It's a really great movie, but they talk about chafe nipples, which is kind of a fun little side topic for me to talk about. But I really feel like I'm a runner now because uh, this is my first tube that I just went through and uh, had to pick up my second yesterday. So I like to throw it on the, uh, the body in different areas where maybe the clothing rubs where it shouldn't. Uh, it's great on the toes to prevent blisters. Um, so that's another partner, if you will. The old body glide 
plus the training partner. Something totally random, but I thought I'd throw it out there. Um, anyway, I hope that you can find other uh, people that you can run with, whether it's a local running club or through a social network or maybe through uh, maybe someone that you work with. But I think running partners can really help push you. Uh, you know, Jeff thought that I was pushing the pace yesterday, at least that's what he said. But uh, I felt like he was actually pushing the pace yesterday. And I know I probably, you know, I might have stopped a couple of places just to catch my breath. Um, but there's kind of this uh, peer pressure, perhaps, that good training partners will have on the other just to kind of keep them uh, on pace and keep them pushing. So um, I just would thank Jeff for uh, what a great run we had yesterday. And, uh, and I know there are many others out there who have training partners where, you know, it's just not the same without them. It's a, it's a great way to, to build a friendship. So with that being said, um, I am now uh, 30 days into, I actually have had 30 training days. I think I've had 176 miles that I've put into my training. And I'm um, closing in, uh, I think today is like 16 weeks and 6 days until the marathon. So when you get into that 16 week mode, it's getting pretty close to uh, really getting serious. And uh, I'm reading a lot of good books out there on uh, kind of getting your head into the game. Brain Training is one by Matt Fitzgerald, another that I've that I'm reading right now is also called Running Within, and uh, any other books that you can read on mental focus and energy, uh, that's just a plus as well. So with that being said, uh, I appreciate uh, you continuing to watch and, uh, and learn together, and uh, until then, I hope to see you out on the trails.